we're going to make Italian fried dough. There's different names for it, but this is a particular recipe that I used to actually make as a young kid working in my parents' uh, pizzeria. Uh, what you want to do is, is actually start with pizza dough. I do have a recipe for Sicilian pizza dough already on YouTube, so you can check that out and make your pizza dough or make your own pizza dough or even buy pizza dough. But what you want to do is just put your pizza dough on your um, countertop or whatever you're using and then roll it out with a rolling pin and you want to make it really thin. Now it can be a circle, it can come out as a rectangle, it really doesn't matter. But you want to have it thin enough so it's about a quarter of an inch in thickness. So you want it relatively very thin. I'm going to show you how thin in just a second once I roll this out. Stretch your pizza dough out and that will help it even thin it out a little bit more for you. because you want it really thin and crispy and to have a bubbly pastry when you're done. You're going to need some type of a serrated knife to cut with this or just a regular knife will do and just cut some long strips. You can make them shorter if you want. You can cut this in half if you think the strips are too large. Separate the strips and they will look like this. And then heat up a pan of vegetable shortening or canola oil or whatever you prefer. You want to have your grease hot. And first check it, just take a little piece of your dough, put it in the pan. If it starts to bubble and rise, you know that your oil is hot enough. You will need a cookie tray with paper towel to absorb the oil and also a tongs to pull your dough, your fried dough, out of the pan. Be careful though, this oil is going to be extremely hot to be at the temperature that you need to fry this dough. Once you cut your strip, then just try to twist it as best as you can. It can really be any shape that you want. You can make circles out of them if it's easier, but the twisted rope comes out, I think, the, the, the prettiest. I want to check my shortening again to see if it's hot enough, and it does look like it is. And then just gently lay your little strip into your shortening. I'm going to cut quickly another little piece out of my dough. Again, just twist it, give it a twist, and then lower it into your vegetable oil or whatever that you're using. I'm going to cut one more. You want to fry these till they come out to a golden brown. You don't want them too deep in color because then you've really fried them too long. Just make a nice twist and then slowly drop them into your oil. And then watch for them to come up to a golden brown. Again, you can make any size or shape that you prefer, but these are absolutely delicious. Once that they have turned a real pretty brown, then of course you want to flip them to the other side till they're completely cooked. You're going to start to see them bubble up. They're going to have nice little pockets of air. They're light. They're just delicious. Once you do that, again, wait for that nice little light medium brown. When they come out, we're going to put them on our paper towel and then we can roll them either in granulated sugar or if you prefer, you can sprinkle or roll them in powder sugar. I generally just roll them in granulated sugar. While those are cooking, we'll try one more. Whoops. 
that one fell apart. So we'll just make a spindle out of that and put it in. I like to have it not the um, shortening not too hot because you just do not want to burn these. But keep turning them till you see that really pretty medium golden brown. Okay, once you do, just take them out onto your paper so the oil will drain from them. And I made some ahead of time. What's easy is to just fill a bag with granulated sugar. You can actually put your dough in there and just shake it. The sugar will really adhere nicely to them once while they're warm. And I went ahead and made a few ahead of time. And you can see how beautiful this fried dough has come out. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.